Y'all following what I'm saying that you you meet a person and you're meeting a representative, right? That's what your ass be falling in love with. That's what the real affinity and the real like before, right? As time go on, you end up seeing real parts of their character and you go from liking them and being in love with them and growing to love them to like, now the like has dropped out. This is what me and dude was talking about on our one-on-one -on -one call. Like, he like, I love her, but I don't like her, right? And this is, this is the way that a lot of y'all think. Y'all feel like, okay, I love her, but the stuff that we going through has got me not liking her, right? Truth be told, what you love is the potential of what y'all was, used to be, or what you thought it was going to grow into being. You don't love her because her loving her is loving her for who she is, which is the shit that you don't like. Does this make sense to y'all? Like, a lot of y'all are thinking that, like, you know, I love them and I don't want to be with them because I don't really like them and we ain't getting along, but no. You love what y'all used to be. You don't love what it is. So to make that statement in present time that, you know, I love them. No, you in love with what it used to be. You love what it used to be. You care about your infinity, your feelings. The shit you chasing is trying to get this shit back to what it used to be. But motherfucker, what it is, is who they are right now. Y'all understand what I'm explaining? When y'all be in these situations where you giving a bitch the best parts of you and they ain't impressed and they showing y'all like they don't want that shit, you got to have enough self-worth and value to understand it ain't for me to try to force somebody to see the value in something that they don't see. And then a lot of y'all don't understand. They see exactly what you giving them. They just don't value that shit. Y'all ever showed somebody something and they wasn't impressed? Like I was telling dog on the phone, like, imagine right now if me and you been knowing each other and I grinded up, it took me about five, six years, I grinded up 500000 in my savings, right? And I'm psyched about this shit because it took me five years to grind this shit up, right? And then I show it to you. I'm like, bro, what if I show you, like, look at this, 500000 bitch, I, I'm, I'm at a half a meal, like, yeah, like, I'm energetic about this shit. Like, you, I'm waiting for you to see how you react because I feel like, you know, I'm showing this nigga this shit because this is it. And you look at it like, oh, shit. That's all right, love. Good job. Like, it ain't doing nothing for you. That's me showing you, like, the best I got going on. And, nigga, it on me. Y'all be like this. Y'all be done show the bitch the best. They be done fucked you. Fucked you raw. Been to your house. Been dealing with you for years. You done been there for them. You done mixed them in, they in your life. You done mixed in there. You done showed them everything about you as the current day person you are. And them motherfuckers wasn't impressed. They have treat you the way that you treat them. You might call them, they don't necessarily respond back. They give you that low vibrations, high vibrations, energy and shit. On Monday, they fucking with you. On Saturday, they ain't really fucking with you. Y'all should just be friends. Wednesday, when the shit ain't working out with the other person that they juggling between with your ass and the other person. Like, they back on your trail. Then when it's going good. Like, y'all know what I'm talking about. You be done show them all. And they wasn't impressed. And they ain't wrong. Like, if I show the, the right motherfucker, I show them 500000 in the bank. That ain't nothing. The right motherfucker, I showed him 500000 in the bank. That's everything. Do y'all understand what I'm explaining? Y'all got to learn that when you at a point in your life where you feeling like, we, we toxic right now. We going through shit. The bitch trying to manipulate me. I'm trying to make her be what I want her to be in order for the relationship to be this picture that I painted in my mind back when we first started vibing and they were showing me their representative. Like when all this is going on and you don't actually like the person, Consider that you don't love them for who they are. You love them for what they used to be or what the fuck they showed your ass. Because a lot of them, they ain't even the person that you love. The person you feel like you, that ain't even them. That was some shit they showed you in the beginning to hook your ass in. Y'all understand what I'm explaining? Y'all be swearing it's tough for y'all to let go of shit based on like... Your feelings. You got to you got to be willing. This is why I be saying management of emotions trump everything. Like I done been through some of the same shit y'all going through. This is why I wrote my second book on relationships. Because that shit breaks down. Like the shit y'all be thinking y'all going through. It's not what you going through. That shit y'all be sitting around listening to a motherfucker tell y'all. It don't be what's real. Yeah, you love. You, you love and you in love, but you not in love with the person that's in front of you. You in love with the person they showed your ass a while ago and you want the current person to be that person. That is why you don't like the current person in front of you. Because you not in love with them. You in love with a whole nother bitch that ain't them no more. The reason why I know this to be true, because when I talk to y'all and I be like, okay, so tell me about the relationship. We only one-on-one -on -one calls. So tell you, when y'all run down like, 
how it was in the beginning. It ain't like that now. So that person that was doing all that shit in the beginning, that's a different person than now. That's who you love. You don't love. And then when I ask y'all what y'all want, because I always ask what you want, because it, it matters the most what you want. When I ask y'all what y'all want, y'all be like, you know, I want it to work out and I want to be with them, but I don't like what's going on right now. Like, I don't like how they act. Y'all start mentioning all the stuff y'all told me is fucked up by them. But then that means you don't want them because that is who they are. You can't say, I won't love, but I wish she'll stop cursing, stop making them videos. I wish she'll stay off the internet. I wish she'll stop working so much. I would. That's me, dog. Like, that's a part of my life. Like, that's a part of my lifestyle, how I get my bread, how I feed my... You can't... You don't want me. You want what you thought it was back based on what I show. You don't want me. You ain't in love with me. And I'll tell a bitch that. Anybody that's like, you don't like what you're getting right now, and, and I could be... Every bit of wrong in everything I'm doing. But if it's what I'm doing, it's what it is. And that's who I am. And that's what your ass going to get. So do you want this or what do you want? Y'all don't understand. You don't even actually know what you want. Because you think you want something that you don't want. I did a one-on-one -on -one yesterday with a young lady. Real cool. It was a dope-ass one-on-one. I told y'all. I think I mentioned yesterday. The nigga, she caught the nigga with another bitch cheating or whatever. Whatever, whatever whoop the whoop right? They had to sort that out, right? And me and her had the same kind of conversation. Like, I asked her, what do you want? She said when she had a conversation with dude, like, dude talked about, you know, what he feel like is appropriate or what he feel like wasn't that bad. Texting other hoes and shit, as long as I don't smash him, it's not that bad. I had another one-on-one -on -one with a female. This nigga told her. He don't want to be in a monogamous relationship. Like, he ain't ready for that right now. But he don't want to start fucking with her, right? So, you know, she telling me, and dude ain't wrong. He just telling her what he what he want. He, he being manipulative with some of the stuff he doing because he trying to, like, have his cake and eat it too. But the only way the nigga have your cake is if you give it to him. But, you know, that's another lie for another day. Long story short, I got down to asking her what she want, right? She said she want to be with him. So I said, so you want to be with a man you want to be in a monogamous relationship, like be with, like lock in with a man that don't want to be in a monogamous relationship and don't want to lock in. So she was like, huh? You told me, the nigga told you, in this current day and state, he don't want to be in a monogamous relationship. He want to fuck. Like he want to vibe. He like you. He don't want to leave you alone, but he don't want to lock in. And you telling me you want to be with him, right? So that means you want to be with a nigga that don't want to be in a monogamous Oh, I ain't think about it like that, love. Okay, so let's think about it for what it is. The nigga is who he is. And who he is right now, he does not want to be dealing with just one female. He want to be able to move around with these females how he want. What you want is the nigga if he act how you want him to act and want what you want him to want. Which is cool, but that ain't what he want. That's what you want. So if you sitting here telling me you want this nigga, like I wanted to work out with him, love. I don't want to stop messing with him. Then you're telling me you want to be with a nigga that will be with you, but won't be monogamous and won't be locked in only with you. No, but that ain't what I want. That is what you want because that is what the nigga is and that's what you're saying that you want. Is this hard to understand? When you say you want to be with somebody... You're saying you want to be with them for everything that's going on with them right now. Y'all be wanting to be with people based on the characteristics of who they was or what they showed y'all. In the end, you don't even be knowing what you want. I hope this is making sense to some of y'all. Like, I hope, I hope this, I don't know. I don't know what to tell. Like, this is, this is the answer to some of y'all so-called hurt. Y'all understand this? Y'all, it be... It be all kind of dudes that like what they is right now is not what y'all want. But because you want him and you want the potential of what he done showed you y'all could be, you keep saying you want him. Like I'm going to tell y'all, it take growth. But when I like realize this in my life, like I told dude on the last one-on-one -on -one I just did, a bitch don't want me. I'ma move around. I show you the best parts of me. You ain't impressed. I'ma move around. You know how many people that if I show you my 500,000 in the bank and you ain't impressed, I'ma move around and find somebody that is. 
I can't be sitting around trying to keep telling you, no, but look at it. It's 500,000. No, but I'm saying that's a quarter of a meal, like twice. Like that's a half a meal. Like most people don't make that in like five years. Like, no, I'm saying look at the count again. Like I'm not finna be keep trying to convince a bitch that like there's value in what the fuck. If, if I feel like it's lit, I'm going to go find me a nigga that feel like it's lit on top, bitch. I'm not finna be, no, no. And then I tell y'all, okay. I'm with you. I understand. I done been there in a season of my life where I just ain't ready to leave something alone. That's grown people shit too. I understand. But now you got to fuck a nigga knowing what you fucking him for. So, like I told the girl on the on the one on one I just mentioned, like you could keep fucking with him. You just gotta understand you fucking with a nigga that's not finna lock in with you. See, the problem is you only could do this if you real grown. I'm talking about like grown, grown. I'm talking about like posture straight, like you know what I'm saying, like grown, grown, like grown, grown, grown. Like in a space where every time this nigga hitting you, regardless of how he making you feel, he don't want your ass. A lot of y'all ain't built for that. You not built to still go on dates and talk to and let a nigga come over and be all up in his life and he all up in yours knowing he don't want you like that. Y'all be telling me on the phone, y'all, but I can tell that because how, how long it took you to pick. You, you ain't a swift cookie with this relationship and emotional shit. The, the nigga gonna drag you. And he ain't even trying to drag you. Like, you gonna get drugged. Because, like, it take, like, a real strong... To let a nigga dick you down the same way he been dicking you down when you thought y'all was in a relationship. And then you found out the nigga don't want to be in no relationship no time soon with you specifically. Like, and you still like, but I don't want to leave him alone. Look, okay, don't. But you gonna have to grow the fuck up. Like, in two seconds. Because the nigga gonna drag your ass.